what's up guys it's your boy miracle z arc here back for another video hey, it has been a minute but um had reasons for that but i wanted to get right back into the dual link or master Duel videos for you guys today i have the goki blocker deck profile you guys were asking for in my last video a little updated uh since the last video there's a new card that came out that's really good in this deck and i added cards but uh, let's get right into the deck profile. We're gonna start off with the monsters and go down to. The so I play um, two of Goki Octus. The Goki Ostrich is a really good card because he's also a hand trap. Where if he has lethal and you're going for turn, turn one and he stops your combo for some reason, this card will save you. Um, you discard it. Um, you take half the battle damage you would. I've. I've saved myself a lot of time. And I think it's a really interesting. Next card, I also like Guts. Goki Guts is such an interesting card. It cannot be destroyed. And it's one of the Goki that have the the perfect search effect where it's sent from the grave. It can search any Goki. Next up, I play Fire Flint Lady. Pretty much a vital part of the combo. There's two monsters that, that can do its job, basically, and it's very nice to have. You get the perfect combo, and you throw that Fire Flint Lady, it saves you an extra turn, and you can get out even stronger of a board. Next up is Goki Headbat. It's a very important combo card. I feel like three is too much for it. I would play it at three if you do have space. If you don't like one of my other options, three is very good for that, and I would play it at three. And I would do that because um, necessary. If you draw Goki in the first hand, Headbat, with a normal summon, you can still do the combo. As well as if you draw it turn, if you add it to your hand for the second part of the combo, it's very nice as well. Next up, Goki. Uh, it's the same effect as so pretty much Archer Stretch, but it's a Battle Trap, which is very nice. Sometimes I use the Battle Trap just to get it in the graveyard for my next turn. And so I have a Goki and rematch all that for a very good target. I play two, and it also has the you can add one. Pretty much all of the Goki cards I play have that effect. Some of the Gokis don't. If you notice, let me go through this. This one doesn't have. Um, this one has the can only be a Goki spell, and then one more he does not he only looks at a goki monster also, which is okay but you know goki moonsaults pretty you don't need him for to play goki maybe mal for a let's try that he he, he won That's not good. This is why you read it. I knew he wasn't good when I first read it. Where were we? Burn Ash. Ash Blossom. Very nice card. Play two of them. You can get Berkey. I play three Twist. He's one of the perfect normal summons. And one of them that still gets applied to Fire Flint. That's why I play three. I play three of Super. That's one. Normal summon. You can also. Get any of the go, even the, which is a higher level. I play one code. There's your, uh, the code break. Very nice combo. I play Super Quantum Red Layer because he's level five. He's two thousand attack. He's a good. If you have no monsters on the field, your control no monsters. You can special summon it. It doesn't rely on your opponent. Very nice. I play Re Scorpio. He's one of the best normal summons, even if you don't have super. Because he's a 23 beater on the board and you do not rely on any other monster use and you're good next up is Goki bear hug um, I don't see many people playing this Goki but I play it because of a uh, excuse me his special summon ability or his normal summon ability where or if he's special summon sorry he can target a monster opponent controls and reduce it by half very nice effect 
I play I don't think this was in the last deck, but I play now Dino Wrestler Pankertops. I tried him at first, I didn't like him, but he, I did not give the man a proper chance, and he is great. I love when he's in my opening hand. He does the job very much. Now I'm gonna go through a few staples I play. I play Regeki, you know? I love drawing a lightning storm or a Regeki turn one. My first turn, so I usually like to go second. So I wipe his board. He loses a lot of his effects. Or he has to use that negate so he can't negate my combo. That's what my biggest move is. Because I can break your board with my combo. But if you can negate me, I'm very screwed. So that's why I love Regeki a lot. Next up is Rhoda. I play one Rhoda because you can only play one. Also, I play three. Very nice. Very nice card. Hurt you any of the, the Goki pieces you need, or even a Fire Flint Lady. I play one Pot of Avarice. It can be bricky at times, so one is the perfect amount. You get in your open hand, you do a little bit of the combo, and then you pop it. Very nice. Done. One for one. You send one of these Ash Blossoms, Super Quantum, or Code Breaker, and you can add any of the top seven cards, which is very nice for the combo. I don't think this card's job was to be used in this deck, but Transmodify is very nice. Especially if you open up a Suprex and, let's say, a Scorpio, and you have a Transmodify, you do the combo, you normal summon Re-Scorpio, or you normal summon Suprex, and you use Transmodify. And when you use Transmodify, you got Bear Hug out, and you get an extra search just doing your combo. I play two Goki Rematch, you can easily play three, but the UR, so I, I don't want to play too much of it. Talked about Lightning Storm. I love that when I draw this opening move and I can destroy all attack positions or spells and traps. A lot of spells and traps are a major problem these days and Master Duel. Uh, this is the new card from Small World. I did see that comment where you suggested this card. I didn't even know it was coming out. I've never heard of this card, but I did implement it. Works very nice. Combo. Pretty much, if you have any monster that's unnecessary, you can do this. So I like to throw away um, Ash Blossom or Super Quantum to get Fire Flint Lady into the the combo mix. It makes the combo very. I play one Twin Twisters. It's a very nice card. I do recommend it. Well, I would say it's underrated at this point, but very nice spell and trap removal. Like Called by the Grave. There's a lot of maxi. Maxi stops your moves, so two. I like to play both of them. Just to and the extra deck, basic free combo piece. The link to the Goki heal order. You can play any of that. He has no effect. He's just a link to. Um, Codebreaker Zero Day. I'll come back to, but Thunder Ogre is the link three that is majority of this move during your main phase. You get a normal summon. You can use that. Once you get him, you normal summon Suprax again, you get an extra monster if you have two. If not, one is good enough, and then you search Goki Rematch. You go into Goki Power Load, you use the Goki Rematch, you go into the Codebreaker Zero Day, which when he's summoned, you special summon Codebreaker Zero Day, whatever, my bad misspoke. Then you link off into uh, Virus Berserker, then you special summon both of those, so you have, you have Link Fodder. And then you can go into Access Coker, Cocker or Apoloza. I did add Topologic. I haven't got to use this card yet, but I'm excited to. But I also go into Nightmare Unicorn a lot. Let's go over these two. This card is super broken. Banish much many monsters. You need a monster special summon to a zone this card points to. That's insanely good. As much as possible if you do inflict 500 and you can destroy as many spells on traps as possible. This card will guarantee you a card if you do the combo right. You discard, you shuffle the card, and usually get the draw off it. So it's very nice. Um, I talked about Virus Berserker, and he also has Spell and Trap Remover in his effect. He's very nice. Apoloza, I usually go into... I usually use three monsters. I don't get the full four, but three negates is very nice in one. Access to Kotaka is pretty much... One of the key monsters to finish off the, the OTK in the combo and banishing it. It's also a monster removal. 
very nice effect if you can get it up to usually 5,300. Goki Power Load Ogre is such a major piece because even if I can go on a board with two of the Goki Power Load Ogres, at least I know my monster is safe from spells and trap effects. Only way he's usually beat is if you can out them through attack points. Um, yep, that is the video for you guys today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'll be working on uploading more. I also have more channels coming out. I have a channel called Miracle and Friends, which I'll be playing uh, Pokemon content and uh, playing content with my friends. Uh, we have a X and Y three-way cage latch coming out soon. I'm also working on other content as well. So if you guys enjoy the content, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'll be uploading Master Duel, Duel Links, and Pokemon TCG videos. Thank you guys. Peace.